Hello, how are you doing today? Hope you are fine. Welcome to Ultimate Comp Exam Round 1 to 4 Decision. And today we are going to go straight and start making a decision. So first of all, the most important thing for you to do is to understand the kind of report that you need. Usually, there are only two reports that you need to make decision. The first one is the industrial condition report. And this is going to show you exactly like how the markets are going to move. For example, it's showing you the drift rates and also the segment centers. And when you combine drift rates and segment centers, you are going to get the ideal spot where you are going to enjoy the maximum sales for your product in a given market segment. It's also going to show you uh, segment size and also growth rate, as you can see here. And at the same time, customer buying criteria. The beauty of this thing is that uh, you can also get this information from uh, Combexem Korea report. And uh, here you'll go to this report and you can start with the drift market segment. And um, in thrift market segment, you can see what customer are needing in terms of the price, reliability, ideal spot and edge. Also for other market segment, you'll find the specific information about what customer needs with respect to the same item that have already been mentioned. All right, at the same time, I remember we have also created a um, combo exam round one to four Excel template that's going to assist you in making this decision. And the beauty of this thing is because uh, currently uh, all the values that uh, we have here, we have already entered in our combo exam Excel template and it has already calculated what you need to do so that uh, you can maximize the score that you're going to get. So without wasting any time, you can go ahead and start making the decision. This time we are going to start with human resource and um, one thing that uh, you need to watch is this information next to recruiting, spend and also training hours because it's going to show you like uh, the impact that you are going to get by spending particular amount of money. When you read that information, you'll see that spending more than 5,000 in a recruiting spend will not bring uh, equivalent benefit uh, regarding the amount of money that you're spending. Therefore, there's no need or there's no additional importance of spending more than 5,000. And that's the reason why we have 5,000. When it comes to training hours also, there's no equivalent benefit for uh, utilizing more than 80 hours per employee when it comes to training. That's the reason why we have 80. So recalculate. And that's all we need to do when it comes to human resource. The next item is uh, TQM. And um, when you click on this um, exclamation mark, you are going to get uh, key information about uh, how much money you can spend on each initiative and what kind of impact you are expecting to get. And also, uh, after, next to each uh, initiative, you can click on this exclamation mark and we're going to get um, information about uh, what it influences. For example, CPI system, you can see this is a continuous process improvement system, drive reduction in material cost. And therefore, uh, from this information, you see that spending more than 1,500 will not yield equivalent additional benefit. And that's the reason why we only spend 1,500 in this case for all of the initiative that we have. Okay, recalculate. So that's all we need to do when it comes to TQM. And uh, from projected impact, you'll see material cost reduction. The worst case is likely to be 4.3. And the best case is likely to be 5.5. Labor cost reduction is likely to be 5.6. That is the worst case. And best case is likely to be 7.1. And also, you'll see it helps us in reducing the R&D cycle time, meaning that your product is going to come to the market quite earlier compared to when you will not have spent any money on concurrent engineering and uh, quality function deployment. Also demand is impacted and uh, we are expecting that demand is going to increase when we spend some money in TQM. Alright, uh, let us go now to R&D. And here we see um, our Combexem uh, Excel template have already calculated the value for us. Therefore, you do not need to do anything. You can just enter the value that we have for round one. We'll see here. Uh, these are round zero values and is exactly what we have in our um, web spreadsheet. Therefore, enter 10.2 for ARC, that is a core market segment product, and 9.8 for size, 
will not change the reliability because it's the same with what we already have in our Combexam Excel template. And then the next one we have and uh, we need to enter 12.9 and uh, 5.0. Again, there's no need to change reliability. Uh, next one we have S, uh, that will be 15.2 and uh, 7.2. Recalculate. And lastly, we have EU, which is a thrift market segment product. And uh, this time we need to spend about, uh, uh, we need to enter 7.5 and 12.5. Uh, Recalculate. And then uh, we're introducing three products. The first one is a crossover product. We have Eve, and uh, we need to give it a performance of 12.8 and a size of uh, 7.0 and at the same time we need to give it a reliability of 22,000 uh, the next one we have Apple and Apple we give it a performance of 13.9 and uh, reliability of uh, 3.8 Sorry, size of 3.8, reliability of 24,000. And finally, we have X. Uh, we give it 16.4. And then size of uh, 6.2. And finally, a reliability of 26,000. Recalculate. We can see that um, for most of our product, they will have at least three months of selling the revised version. And when you check the perceptual map, you'll see that uh, all of the product are in their ideal spot, meaning that uh, we are likely to maximize the sales that we're going to get for all of this product. Now, uh, that's all we need to do when it comes to research and development. You can go to our next section, which is uh, marketing. So before we do marketing, let us go to production analysis so that we can get exactly the inventories and uh, what we sold in the previous round. We'll see for ARC, we sold about uh, 1832 units. So enter here 1832. And then the ANT we sold 922, which is okay. Uh, then S we sold about 773. And finally, E we sold uh, uh, 1372 okay so let us now go to marketing and again uh, what you just need to know is uh, why we spend 2100 for promo and sales budget and you will see here uh, spending 1000 in promo budget brings about 22 percent awareness second million 23 and that million only five percent and that's the reason why we are only spending 2100 when it comes to sales budget, they are saying the first million had 7%, second 22%, uh, and third million had 32%. That's the reason also we are only spending 2100 when it comes to promo and sales budget. Okay, starting with ARC, we reduce the price to 30 and then promo budget we change to 2100 as well as sales budget. Our Combexam Excel template have already calculated the forecast for us, so we enter 2050. Uh, the next one we have 40 we do not change the price we only change promo and sales budget to 2100 and then uh, our excel template i've calculated the focus for us to 1100 and then s we have uh, 42 we do not change the price so maintain that way and then our sales budget 2100 and finally excel template i've forecasted that we're going to sell 767 units and uh, finally, we have um, EU. We reduce the price to 2050. And then promo budget, we change to 2100. Sales budget, 2100. And uh, forecast, we change to 1980. OK, recalculate. All right, and that's all you need to do when it comes to uh, 
marketing, you can now go to production. And in production, uh, we all need to enter the inventories. So change the inventories is 44 for the first one, then 263 for the second one, and then 215, and finally 757. Okay, so already our CAPSI, sorry, ComPEXM production uh, Excel template have already calculated the production schedule for us. So let us enter the first one, 2110, the second one, 947. And then we have uh, 921. And finally, we have 1316. So for the three product, we cannot produce anything now because we do not have capacity. And also the product is not yet ready in the, into the market for production. Uh, now for the D product to introduce, let us give each uh, capacity of 330. And then for automation rating, we are going to give each 5.0, just like what we have in our Compensum Excel template. And then for our thrift product let us change automation to 10 our co-product to 7 and the other to 5.0 okay recalculate all right and that's all you need to do when it comes to production in case you have any question kindly comment below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible now let us go to the last part which is uh, finance and from uh, our Compexem Excel template saying that uh, we issue long-term debt of uh, 14, 7 to 2 and uh, short-term debt we borrow 13,000. Recalculate. And at least by December 31st, we'll have a positive significant number uh, which will assist us to avoid any emergency loan. And now let us go to balance scorecard to make sure that at least we are getting good points. So from balance scorecard, we are expecting to get about uh, 66 out of 80 points, which is very good for start. So that's all for uh, Compexam round 1. In case you need help in your Compexam round 2, Compexam round 3, up to Compexam round 4, kindly check the video description and you'll access all those videos we have already provided. And also, maybe you might need someone to assist you. Also, you can contact us via WhatsApp. We have provided the WhatsApp link on the video description. That's all for today. Have a nice time.